welcome back to my channel, Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. Tonight we are going to film the demonstration on how to use your Kinka device for exfoliation and extractions. I'm just going to point out a few tips before we get started. So with the Kinga device, and you're gonna, when you use it and you're going to do extractions and exfoliation, I just wanted to let you know that it's really important that your skin is hydrated from the inside out. And this goes for like when you're getting facials too with extractions because when your skin is dehydrated, it holds on to everything in those pores and will hardly let anything, if anything, will come out. So make sure you drink your water the day before and the day of your facials. Um, and for the extractions with the Kinga device, it's really important for that water intake as well. Not only that, but when you get your recommended water intake in daily, your skin will have this really beautiful, youthful glow and it will look firmer and younger. So, so when you are using the Kinga device for extractions, it's really important also that your skin is hydrated and also for the exfoliation mode. So I'm gonna keep a jar of water close by so I can dab my fingers in it to keep the skin hydrated. Now you can use an exfoliation mask that doesn't have any like exfoliation particles in it, or you can use an exfoliating cleanser. I have a couple of things that I like to use. One is the Osea Ocean Cleanser. This is a really good cleanser to use with your Kinga device because it has that lactic acid in it. Also, um, tonight I'm going to use a combination of the Pa'akai Cleanser and the Hawaiian Beauty Water from Hanua Skincare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cleanse my skin and I will come back and we'll get started with our demo. We're gonna take the Pa'akai Cleanser from Hanua Hawaiian Skincare, about two pumps the size of a nickel, and we're gonna mix three sprays of their Hawaiian beauty water. Mix it up in our palms and massage it into the skin. You can use any cleanser you would like with this. It doesn't have to have exfoliating properties. You just want to make sure that there is no exfoliating particles or granules in your cleanser that you use. And you wanna make sure that the skin is nice and hydrated. Um, have a, a jar of water nearby, so just in case you need to apply some water just to keep the skin really nice and moist. We're turning on our device. We're gonna press the on and off button, the scrubber button, and then the plus sign. And we're going to take the prongs and we're going to face them down on the skin and we're going to glide from the center out. You just gently glide your Kinga device along your skin. Try not to apply too much pressure. It actually should be gentle. And you may get some spray off with this and that's perfectly normal. On the chin, we will use upward glides. Just gonna rehydrate my nose and my forehead. Along the lip area, you would want to use the device exactly how I'm using it here. I'm going to glide it in, and then the center of the lip, you glide up, and then the other side, you're going to glide in towards the nose. And you're going to use those same upward glides on your forehead. What this device is doing is it's using that ultrasonic action to create space in the pore 
and then what it does is it wiggles pretty much everything out and it does that with the extraction mode as well. So you're getting like a nice exfoliation and a deep clean here. You can do this, I do this once a week. Uh, I, would, I would say you could probably do this uh, one or two times a week, but for me, once a week is sufficient. It really does give you a really nice deep clean and cleans pretty much everything out of those pores. For the extraction mode, I only need to really use it once a month. No need to use it more than once a week. It's really nice to have a device like this to keep your pores really nice and clean in between facials. Now we're wiping off the cleanser and we are getting ready for our extractions. So I'm just going to apply some water onto my nose because you want to make sure your skin is nice and hydrated and you have some uh, wetness to the skin there. And we're going to turn the device on extraction mode, which is the on off button, scrubber button and the plus sign. And we're just going to use slow controlled movement along the nose here. You can use the prongs to get some concentration around the creases. And on your bridge of your nose, you want to glide it up slow and remember not to apply too much pressure. Just gentle glides. See how I'm using that prong to really focus in that crease there. That's usually where I get most of my oil and debris collect right in this area. Look at all that gunk we got out of my pores. I'm just gonna apply some more water and we're gonna work on the chin. I'm gonna wipe off the Kinga device with my facial cloth. And on the chin, you're just gonna go in upward glides and you can just you know go a little bit slower and just really focus on cleaning those pores out. I'll work on my nose a little bit more here. My nose is the area on my face where I collect most of the oil in my pores and I believe that is for most people. And I also collect it right here in between my brows. So I have larger pores there and they fill up Pretty fast but I will say that my skin is doing pretty good these days since I changed my diet by incorporating more water and green leafy vegetables my skin is looking a lot better and my pores are a lot more cleaner and with my forehead you just go into upward glides again see what we got out of there. Not really much on the forehead. Let's do the other side. Don't be alarmed about how red my skin is. My skin is very reactive. 
It turns red even if I just gently touch it. I'm just gonna check here to make sure I got everything. I'm just gonna go in my nose here again. I see a few that are bothering me. I really love this device for extractions. It's been such a wonderful addition to my skin arsenal. <laughs> I've been able to get out, I've been able to clean out some clogged pores that I haven't been able to reach myself or my esthetician hasn't been able to get to. That's it guys. We're all done with our demo. How did you like that demo, guys? <laughs> Pretty interesting things come out of the pores, right? <laughs> so this Kinga device happens to be one of my all-time favorite devices. And for $40, if you can afford it, I think everyone should have one. It's such an excellent tool. I use it every night for product penetration. It's made such a huge difference um, in my skin with my skincare absorption. I love it for doing extractions instead of using my fingers so I don't get the indentations in my skin, I don't damage the pores, or I don't create any kind of like hyperpigmentation by using my fingers. And also it gives you a really nice gentle exfoliation, such a beautiful device. And also the other thing too, is you can get a really quick lift with it. I highly recommend it. I'll link my video um, down below of the demo for the product penetration and the lift mode for the Kingan device, and I'll also link um, where you can find this device on Amazon. It costed, cost me $39.95 all in. I have Amazon Prime, such a great deal. <laughs> well, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that link down below and hit the bell if you wanna get a notification when I upload a new video. Thank you for all your continued support, everyone. And if you have any questions, please list them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a wonderful evening. Mahalo. Mwah.